Yeah, it's a um, hard-fought football game. Give Air Force credit. Uh, they did what they needed to do in the second half uh, to win the game. Uh, I thought our defense fought really hard. Um, you know, we gave up a couple drives in the second half, and we just couldn't respond offensively. I thought we had some opportunities. I thought we had some open receivers. And, um, you know, we hit some of them, and we fell short on some of them. But overall, I, I thought our kids played really hard. And uh, you got to give credit to Air Force. It's a good, solid football team. Um, and we just couldn't find enough points in the second half to really stay with them. Um, you know, we'll learn from this game. We've got a short week this week. Uh, we still got a lot of football left to play, and we got a big, big game this Friday. So we're going to have to get over this one quickly. What did you see from your defense in the first half? You held them to 100 yards. Yeah, I thought our defense was really dialed in, and and uh, you know, we gave them a short drive um, uh, when we missed the fourth down, and that's just something that you got to kind of make a decision to do against these guys because of the lack of possessions. You know, and then Braden had the turnover. And I thought that one, that was a hard one because uh, you just can't give these guys anything easy. Uh, it's very difficult to make up the possessions. And so, you know, we put our defense in a tough position there. Um, but overall, uh, you know, I thought our defense played very, very well, especially the first half. You did say you felt like you were going to have to be a little bit more aggressive, and you showed that. I mean, you went for it on fourth down on your first drive. Also, you kind of fell with your backs against the wall a little bit there in the fourth. Yeah. Uh, is that just the way you have – how, how did their style of play affect how you play? No, I just think it's just kind of the qualities of this game. You have to understand that there's very few possessions that you get when you play Air Force, and so – you have to try to keep drives alive uh, to keep their offense off the field and, and also give yourself a chance to score. I mean, you typically, when you play these guys, you get about two possessions a quarter. And so if you don't take advantage of that and score, you know, I think in the first half we had six possessions. I think we scored on half of them. And um, in the second half we did not. So that was the difference in the game. But you have to take calculated chances against this team, and and uh, or otherwise you're going to run out of time. Is that kind of like you say? Just everything is magnified with this. Like you say, you know, one turnover, you know, and typical game. Typical game isn't huge, but in this, it's really yeah. magnified. Well, just because of the limited possessions you get, you know, and, and um, you know, normally we'd get about 16 opportunities, and you only get about eight in this game, and so that's why. You know, when you don't take advantage of one, it really it's hard. Or if you turn one over like we did, it's hard to catch back up. And you know, and they kind of got back on schedule in the second half. And and um, um, you know, and that's what makes it tough to play this team. There's the weird, I guess I don't know any other way to put it, the snowball penalty. Kind of what what's the conversation like? And I guess how do you guys try and deal I couldn't with even, that when obviously I couldn't even figure out what they were talking about, you know, when they came over and started talking. And so um, I don't know. You have to ask, you know, Mike DeFee about that in the conference. Do you, do you feel conditions, especially second half, is snowing pretty hard? Do it affect brain throwing much? Do you, you know, do you it just it, it affects the ball handling sometimes and his feel. Uh, a couple of throws that he overthrew he would normally make. And the ball's just kind of coming out of his hand funny late in the game. And, you know, sometimes that happens when, you know, when you get weather and bad weather and snow. And, you know, it's it's not always the same the later it gets in the game. Sometimes it gets a little bit more difficult to handle the ball, and it kind of did today. And I think Braden learned from that. You know, you know, it's it's always uh, – a new experience every every year because you have some kids that have played in these conditions and some that haven't. And so, um, you know, and I really don't know if Raiden's had an opportunity to play in this kind of conditions before. And so, again, it's a learning experience. Um, we've had some other we had some other kids that were young guys that hadn't played in this much, and you know, they'll get used to playing it now that we've been in it. Do you feel like Air Force tried to attack you guys a little bit differently in the second half and limited them to like three yards carry? 
seven yards carry in the third quarter alone. Yeah, they they did. Uh, they they played a little bit more coverage the second half um, than the first half after they got ahead, um, but not really. You know, we had our opportunities to execute. We had a couple guys that we had open that we we didn't hit and had a couple more plays. They pressured us and got some pressure on the quarterback with some base base rushes. It wasn't any any fancy blitzes or anything. And so we had to look at that and see how we can do a better job there. You come off a very physical game tonight and you have a short turnaround going into another rivalry. Yeah. Game. How do you handle this week? Um, you know, we have a plan for the short week. You know, we basically eliminate a day of practice and we accelerate our, our game plan. And so, you know, the most important thing on a short week is to be ready mentally and um, and let your guys get physically ready to play. And so we won't bang them a lot this week. We'll try to get their bodies fresh and ready to hit by Friday night. And, and uh, But we have a plan for the short week. And it's basically we eliminate a Tuesday practice and we, we move everything up. Are you concerned about your roster? You had some key players leave the game tonight. Everybody okay? No, I'm always concerned about our kids being healthy and ready to play. And, you know, when you got good players dinged up, it's it's always a concern. But, you know, it's we're not the only team like that. Every Everybody this, this time of year gets bumps and bruises and dings. And so we recognize that. And we know we got to, you know, hopefully we'll get our guys back. Um, you know, Tory was was pretty beat up going into this game, and and uh, you know, I I just give him credit for being out there um, and and playing as hard as he did. And he's such an unselfish kid, and he wants to do what he can to help the team. And so, you know, he wasn't a hundred percent tonight when he started the game, and we've got several guys like that, and that's that's part of the sport we play, you know. And so. Um, we got some pretty courageous kids, and and um, you know I think hopefully we'll continue to get them back and get them back out there. When you took the job, one of the things you highlighted was uh, CSU had finished seasons poorly, poor yep. Novembers. What gives you confidence that this team will you know push well in the final month? Well, I I haven't seen any quit in, the, in our team, you know, and and um, you know we haven't always played as consistent we as we like. But I haven't seen any quit in our guys. And, and I don't – just walking out of that locker room and hearing our captains talk, I, I'm feeling confident that we're going to go back and ready to go to work tomorrow. So um, I'm excited about the opportunity we have. We still can accomplish an awful lot. And um, we're just looking at it one game at a time. You know, we got a, another rivalry game. I think we played an, uh, a pretty uh, exciting schedule in the fact that every game is very important, and this week will be no different. Anything else? Thanks. Thanks.